In number one, it says the absolute value of 3x plus 5 is equivalent to 8. Find all values of x which make this equation true. The absolute value expression is isolated, so you can go ahead and take the expression and set it equal to 8 and set it equal to a negative 8. And then go ahead and solve both equations for x. So at this point we talked about not showing all of the inverse operations and I'm fine with that. Uh, when you subtract 5 from both sides you get 3x is equal to 3 divide by 3 and x is equal to 1. And the second one, so when you can divide by, when a number is divisible by the other number and you get a whole number, it's good and you're able to easily show these statements without showing the inverse operations. But when you do a question like the next, uh, or solve an equation like the next equation, you end up with 3x equals negative 13. It may be easy to finish this by showing the division so you can realize, oh, I can't divide negative 13 by 3, and you can just leave it improper. Now, none of the answer choices have an improper fraction as the solution. So if you were to divide, 3 goes into 13 4 times, 3 times 4 is 12, you have a remainder of 1. So it's 4 and 1 third, or in this case, negative 4 and 1 thirds. So 1 and negative 4 and 1 thirds is choice A. And number 2, it says the values of x in that equation are... Well, before you can set it equal to 15 and negative 15, um, you have to isolate. So divide by the 5, and you get the absolute value of 2x minus 11 equals 3. And on my homework key, when we get to that point in which the absolute value expression is isolated, I have gone and put that cloud shape around it. So you know now you can set the two my, uh, 2x minus 11 equal to 3, and the 2x minus 11 equal to negative 3. When I add 11 over, I get 2x equals 14 divided by 2, and x is 7. Add the 11 over here, we get 2x equal to 8 divided by 2, and x is 4. So 7 and 4 are the correct answer choices, which is 1. In number 3, our absolute value expression is isolated, so I can go ahead and make my two lines to solve both equations, 1 equal to 4 and the other 2 minus x equal to a negative 4. Subtract the 2, I get negative x equal to 2, divide by the negative 1, and x equals negative 2. Subtract the 2 here, and I have negative x equal to a negative 6, when I divide by a negative 1, we get 6. So to check these answers, I usually make a t-chart, and on this side I'll check x equals negative 2, this side x equals 6, is 2 minus a negative 2 equal to 4. So the absolute value of 2 minus a negative 2, which is 4, absolute value of 4 is 4, that checks. Is the absolute value of 6 minus, or I'm sorry, it's 2 minus 6. Equal to 4. And the absolute value of that the difference is a negative 4, but when you take the absolute value, you do get a positive 4. So my solutions are negative 2 and 6. Now you can circle them as such, or you can write the solution set. You cannot, however, write your answer as negative 2, 6, because that indicates this is x, this is y, and you have a point. So you either need to do the set brackets, and if you can't do them, you can just make... Uh, your lines squiggly, they just can't be parentheses as they would indicate a point in the coordinate system.